So here's a quick model. I'll show you, you know, let's say we've created a group. Let's say we want to make a group of the elements. So like I said earlier, when you create a group that way, uh, it's empty, there's nothing in there. So in order to populate that, you can come up to group up here and it gives you a bunch of different options. We'll go through operations uh, and talk about some of these in a minute, but what you can populate are you know text, points, curves, surfaces, all these different options. And it has, if you look in this element, we're gonna do that. You can go by color, ID, material, property, shape, and those type of things. So what this does is it effectively signs a rule to your group. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about what rules do and show you those things here in a second. So let's just go ahead and add um, elements on surfaces. So just drag, shift, click all the surfaces in. And that should grab all our elements. Let's go show active group. Okay. So one thing to take note is when you're adding rules in, I have elements added, but that's all it's adding. It doesn't come in with nodes or anything else. So you actually have to go in, if you're gonna use this method, and assign and do it. So if I wanna bring nodes in, you can bring nodes in, and you, you can bring them in any way you want with any sort of rule. Um, one thing to note is that you, if you go in and you do group element ID and you use these pick methods, um, it's not gonna create a rule. So we created a rule, and I'll show you what that does earlier by picking elements on surface. But if I do element ID on surface, it's not gonna, uh, not gonna apply that rule. So there's a lot of power in groups with operations. You come in here, there's evaluate, automatic add, which is important, a few other things. You can generate stuff. Um, one important thing with groups is automatic add. And what this does is it, it basically treats it like a layer. So if you have something with automatic add-on, it's like a layer that's been active. Everything you generate, everything you create is gonna be put to that group. Um, you can choose none if you just wanna uh, build a bunch of stuff, you don't wanna mess with your groups. Uh, you can select individual ones. Um, and then active, which is what I like to use a lot just because I don't like to think about things, is it, it's whichever group you have active, so let's pop back here, is going to be have the automatic add-in. So you don't have to worry so much about making sure that you're automatic adding things in or have to add stuff in afterwards. As you generate things, it'll go ahead and add those in. Some of the other options which are nice is you can uh, generate groups based on things like property, material, or in this case, simply solids. So we have three solids. Instead of going through and making all those groups, I can just generate uh, multiple groups. Come over here, we've got, We've got three groups already made up, exactly what we like. So this can be handy if you have a massive model with a ton of properties and you want to double check where your properties are or maybe materials, you can just go in quickly, grab that, and it'll generate uh, groups based on that. So that's a pretty handy feature. Let's go ahead and take a look at how rules work. So we've generated things, we've made elements, we've assigned a rule on surface. So if we were to then go, let's take automatic add off. So again, automatic add, I can do whatever I want and it's gonna update in here. But if we remove that feature, which you can turn on through here, let's say we want to refine our mesh a little bit. So we come in here to the mesh toolbox, which um, we've done again, a lot of, of things on. There's a lot of power in here. I really recommend exploring. And let's say we just wanna increase our mesh density a little bit. Oops, again. Make sure that you have show full model. If you're only showing your active group, you know, you're not you're not going to have. I only had elements in there. I didn't have any surfaces or curves, so I couldn't use the mesh and toolbox. So I come in here, can refine the model. Everything looks great. And then when I go back to my group, ah, you know, everything looks like it's looks horrible. What happened? So I try and regenerate. Nothing happens. So basically that's because before you had, you know, individual elements assigned to this group, they're not there anymore. It doesn't know what to do. So what you can do then, since we've assigned a rule, you can go to group, operations, evaluate. You can evaluate this group. Now when I regenerate, everything comes back. So it's taking the rule, it's going out and saying whatever elements are associated with this surface, I want to bring back in. So that's a pretty handy little feature. You can also evaluate always. So you can set groups to do that where they'll automatically update as you go. Um, that can be good, but you can run into speed issues. You know, if you have a massive model, it's going to be upgrade, or updating every single one of these groups with everything you do. So it can be a bit cumbersome. That's why it's kind of nice just to work a bit and then go back and evaluate if needed. 
uh, one thing to note, uh, the draw race toolbar method. So let's say I were to come in here and say, I want to make a group, grab surfaces, grab all these. Let's make a group quick. We'll just make an untitled group. So when you do a draw race, it brings everything in, right? Nodes, all of that stuff. But when I go ahead and show full model, update this a bit, come back in, show active group, let's hide surfaces so everything's broken, everything works. So let's go ahead and evaluate. Hit it again, nothing happens. So draw race toolbars real convenient way to grab some materials and make a group, but you're not assigning rules. So they break down pretty quickly. If you do anything, if you change anything, it's gonna just sort of, this group is now worthless effectively. Um, so that's why if you take your time up front and you set rules and you make sure, you know, you have real robust groups, they'll they'll carry along with you as you work as opposed to, you know, this quick method, which is nice if you just wanna grab something, but if you're continuing to work, make sure to assign uh, elements, which is nice. <clears throat> 